Hey everybody and welcome back to our favorite so long time. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and closer to me over here to my left is Don. Hello. So you should be able to hear him better. Oh great. And I apologize about the clock countdown. <laughs> yeah. Threw yeah. Threw, threw me down. off. Threw me off. So if you guys didn't watch the live that we did, it was just like, hey, let's go live. And we went live uh, for the embroidery experiments. This is with the 15 weight thread, and I'm still in love with it. So I just wanted to bring that up. Today, we're stitching a meep sheep. Yay, meep sheep. Meep sheep. Or um, Misha did one in light, airy colors. And we called it uh, Meep Sleep Sheep. So we could probably go far with this. <laughs> Mug rug. <laughs> um, he's kind of cute. I kind of like him. He's a happy sheep and he's very fluffy. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Which is going to be fun. It's easier than it looks. I'm going to be doing the 6x6. Six six. This one is the 8x8. Eight so I don't need to stitch that out. Although I like the size of it. I think it would be great for a candle mat. Although you'd be covering up our cute face there. We don't want to do that either. But um, you can go and get this design at omlembroidery.com. And it's called Meep Sheep. And the Meep part of it is uh, machine embroidered English paper piecing. That's what it means. So, oh, sorry about that. I was what? expecting that. You're good. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Don's having issues over there. Uh, and we're just we're doing things a little slightly different, so I had a couple of bugs to work out. Oh, okay. Uh, he's got a couple of little bugs to work out. It's called more caffeine, Don. Probably. I didn't get time now I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? It comes in three different sizes, small, medium, large. That's what I do with everything. And I appear to be frozen. You appear to be frozen. Let's fix that. Okay, so... I'm not like, sure why we're having an issue with that now. I know. That's us, by the way, so just hold on. If it doesn't work, just go to the machine. That's how we're going to have to do it. It's really strange. Yeah. Is it? Yep. Still frozen on mine. No, there we care. go. I don't care about yours. You're on delay. We're not really sure why this camera keeps freezing, but uh, I don't know. We won't be using it too often. So this is what I'm going to do. I have beautiful, it's kind of off-white, white fabric for the front and the back. And then, of course, my warm and natural batting. So why don't we head over to the no not yet named machine, which is a Luminaire 2, and get stitching. Machine? Machine Luminaire 2 is up. Which camera? The wide one. The wide one. So hello. Bjorn's right here. You guys can all see that for sure. Oh, we didn't talk about my nails. My nails beautiful swirly purple swirlies just for fun i just did it yesterday i was a little tired good here good here yeah we don't know what's up with that camera and uh i'm right here hello i can't put my head too much in there um we did purchase a new camera for this view and we will be getting it tuesday so we'll have everything for next week and we should be getting our cords today so it's very exciting yay yeah up it a little bit this one has the proper cord on it the closer one and it works fine so we're excited about that so six by six hoop with googly eyes which i love of course and i'm using wss and the one I use is from Super Punch because it gets here fast because it's on Amazon. So I really like that. And Bob and Chuck, I did do a Bob and Chuck. We're good to go. 7511 needle. I changed it from the 9014. So um, we should be all set to go. Awesome, awesome. So let's do our placement line. 
so we know how big this baby is gonna be so this uh, design is going to be available in a block and maybe even a zipper purse so kind of like a set so if you wanted to do it's not part of the block of the month that's a different but yeah all right so that looks like a really nice size for a cup I'm gonna place my batting on here so just warm and natural or whatever kind you have at your convenience. And I'm not going to trim this out right now. Um, maybe I will though because it's all over the place. I don't know. I'm you scared. The I know. That's what I was thinking. Maybe I'll plop the fabric on it before we do that. So it's going to stitch it down twice. So it looks good. So how's everyone doing in chat? Hello, hello. It's nice to see everyone. I see Cindy King. Hello, Cindy King. And all of our wonderful, wonderful moderators. All right, I will trim this out, but I'm going to put the fabric on first. And then trim it out. Because we're going to trim all these edges by the end anyway. So we can do our super fancy stitches very white very white and then we're gonna do quilting stitches and it's gonna look great i haven't nothing has thrilled me like i knew immediately mcdreamy was mcdreamy i i don't i don't know Boo. Okay, before we start on that, Don, can we go back to the desk? Desk is up. Hopefully. It's not frozen. It's not frozen. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> We're going to have to start singing Frozen songs soon. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so I'm just trimming this out so you can see the googly eyes. You can trim now. You can trim later. It all has to be done so we're not going to worry about it because it is a mug rug with a satin stitch finish so all of our edges have to be nice so no also i'm not using my tulip pink trimming scissors man those babies are sharp i'm still not used to them and i'm not going to risk it on live so there you go chicken okay that's me there shouldn't be any uh chicken of any kind this so long either so okay good enough and i gotta make a little peek hole for my guy now i do trim back my bat my um stabilizer like this uh but don't you do it i do it because it gets in front of the camera and gets caught up and it affects your view but you don't do it the more you have around the edge the better all right back to the machine, machine is up. looking good so far so i have a nice bright green in here and this is why i picked this background that's kind of pretty i like it but not too bold uh, let's do the green grass stitching. Awesome. Oh good, it shows up. I was going to use more of a, a limey green, but I decided against it. It was for Lynn. You know Lynn likes her neons, right? Always. Always. <laughs> Don's piping in in the background. So just a quick quilting stitches stitch that stands out really nice um the block is going to be slightly different we're going to do a folded fabric or an applique down the middle because i'm going to be doing um a doggy one like this a puppy and a cat and maybe a lion or anything else i can think of just for fun right I think they're really, really cute, and I think a set of four or five would be awesome. 
Ooh, that is nice quilting stitches in green. So, thread change. Dawn, are we doing the thread change? Yeah? Do you want the thread change? Yeah, you can thread change. So, I'm going to do this nice, kind of light blue thread, and we're going to do um, the quilting stitches that are clouds for behind our light as air, uh, light as air, meep sheep. Meep sheep. Meep. There we go. Thread that up. You can see what I'm doing. All right, now for those lovely quilting stitches. Easy as pie. Isn't that good? So yeah, it'll be a set. And again, it's not part of the block of the month. It's just for fun, right? Could you do an elephant? Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, I could. And it's good. Yes, can you write that down? Yeah. Meep elephant. Yeah, I think an elephant would be really cute. I think it would be a, like a nice animal set. So a block, uh, a mug rug of each. I think that would be fun, wouldn't it? Love the scroll with material list. I agree with Pat. An elephant. Okay. A sloth. Chris Yo says a sloth. Yes, for sure. Alicia! Can't help but smile looking at this adorable design. Well, thank you. It was, um, I think it's creative. I wasn't sure if it was cute enough, but the team testers assured me that it is. So I'm like, okay, experiment one. It worked. So it's awesome. Can you do a can? Yeah, yeah. I was going to do a cat, a cat or a kitty, I said, I think. Um, puppy and a lion. And now we're going to add in elephant. So, yeah. I just saw this. It just looked like a big fluffy sheep. And I thought, oh, if I add a face to the middle, then we can have it. Then we can have it. So it's a meep zoo or something. Oh, does not look good with the white background. Um, variegated thread would also look awesome. This is my favorite stitching. I love it. So now we're going to do the outline for the wonderful hexagon. So this part is applique. And there's more than one way of doing the applique. So I will explain to you the different ways and how I'm going to do it. But these are our placement lines so we know exactly how big and where to put them. And then, of course, the center one. There we go. So the next thing is all of the tack down stitches. And we're going to start and then go around. So if you wanted to fussy cut pieces, that's how you would do it. If you wanted to do half one color, half the other, that also would be easy. You would put your fabric down and then stitch all the ones that you want. And then um, trim and then go to the next side. So you'd be stitching one, two, three, one, two, three sort of thing. So separate, um, you could do it all in one, which is what I'm going to do today. And there's options for that. So I'm just putting um, a charm pack, just, and this is just beautiful bluey kind of batik. And I'm just going to stitch all the pieces down at once. Now this is really nice to do when you have a pattern like this. I don't know how well you can see, see that. You. You can? Yeah, you can see the edge. Um, that it all goes sort of thing. So it looks like you fussy cut, but you didn't, which is a big deal. So that's the tack down. It only goes around once. But I'm going to keep it going without changing my fabric at all. So isn't that cool? So it looks like you did a lot of fussy cutting to make the fabric match. But we haven't done any. So it's awesome. 
Awesome. Sue, so you should do a badge for the gang members. Yeah, we have one. We have one. The OML Embroidery Gang with uh, crossed needles. It's on my desk. Next time we go to the desk, I'll show you. Which was fun. So, if you're switching, you would trim here and you have the placement under here so place your fabric down for this one and then stitch it down and trim so you could be really creative with what you've got if you've got a nice piece that you like that's perfect fussy cutting would look amazing judy in the case is asking about a dachshund oh well well, we have a dash hound um, uh, English paper piecing coming up. I don't know if you guys saw it. I can't reach it right now, but I can show you that. We haven't put it up yet. I was trying to figure out a grand entrance for my dash hound, my doxy. But I will. <coughs> I will, yes. you want me to get it so you can show it off? Well, yeah, I would, actually. I would love it. It's right there. I haven't finished the sides yet, so pardon me on that. And our last one. Very cute. I'll put it down here, because I need to trim shortly. Okay, now we're all done with this. And we are going to go, as soon as he's done his dance, we're going to go back to the desk. Ooh, on. Desk up. And there you can see our dash hound design. I don't know if it's too long. Now this is going to be a whole quilt set. Um, this is something I've always wanted. I love dash hounds, if you haven't noticed. But sashings, two different sashings, two different um, wiener sweater pieces, which is really cute. Um, so you could make a wiener dog that goes all the way around whatever just by doing these um, body blocks. So one part has... Be a long weenie dog. Yeah, which would be <laughs> really cute. And these are a quick stitch and they're so cute and different colored sweaters or you can do i mean you could put this block with this block and have a shorter weenie and a whole bunch of them but the idea is you change their sweaters around so you can like this one's polka dot this one's pink but you can add a a blue and have a boy dog or you could grab a piece of your actual wiener dog's coat and put it on there so super cute so all of this there's block one i think this is block one block two so butt first then head is block one and then head and butt is block two and there's two of these body blocks and then two um different uh sashings and there's a cornerstone i haven't done it yet and it comes in three sizes. So there are seven pieces that you have to work with. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, the um, testers have gotten very, very creative with it. And it's looking cute. So I'll be putting that up shortly. I was trying to think of a way to do it to attract attention. Because it's a wiener thing. And it's my dream come true. Um, but I'll get that up. It's ready to go. So what I'm doing here is I am cutting just around the outside, which makes it easier. You know, if you want to make a whole bunch of these, this is certainly the easiest way of making this. And I think it's beautiful done this way. Also, you could do, you know, separate pieces and you could do maybe a pastel rainbow colors around it. Anything goes. Absolutely anything goes. Um, the cool thing about this is that once you do it this way, we still have another option. And the option is to cut out the center or leave it, which is kind of cool. If you cut out the center, 
it's going to be white behind. See, that's what I did for this one. That's the center, which is the background fabric. And that gave it a whole different look. It still, you know, looks like there's tons of piecing. And I just got my sharp scissors and very carefully made a little hole in here and then cut it around here. And there you go. I think for this one, I'm going to leave it and I'm going to see what it looks like when we're done. So, okay, back to the machine. Done. I hope everyone loves the weenie dogs because it, it's it's just too cute. Now we got a little piece here that we're going to do of the mouth and you can do it in pink or whatever color you want. I'm going to do white, I think, just kind of plain white. So I got to change my thread here. So I think white should show up. Also, a little bit of metallic here and there will give your sheep uh, kind of like a dreamy look. Like if you did the outside in metallic silver, something like that. I think that would be super cute. And there we go. Okay, ready to stitch that mouth, which is cute. I think the white should show up just nicely on this. Yep, it does. I love it. I love it. So now we're going to do a little bit of quilting on these hexagons. And it's just going to kind of give it the more fluffy look. It's kind of cloud kind of looking. We should all get one. What are we, what are we talking about? Huh. <laughs> I sent you pictures. Lynn's getting pictures? Oh. Well, that's fine. See, that looks perfect on the batik colors. See what the face looks like. <coughs> Isabella, thank you. Love the design. I'm glad. What I'm trying to do with these designs is give you... In a, in a simple way, a lot of ways that you can create the design. You can fussy cut, you can put down each separately, you can do half and half, you can put down one piece, you can cut out the middle or not cut out the middle. Just simple ways of making it look different. And I really like that. You guys are so creative and that that's what inspired me to do it that way. Because I think it's awesome. So, he looks nice and fluffy. I like how the white looks. Silver would also look really cute on that. It looks like um, we put a lot of work into this, too. Because fussy cutting something like that, that's hard work. That is hard work. He's fluffy. I wonder if mine's a sleep sheep too. All right, so I'm not gonna do the outside in white. I am gonna do it in blue. I guess I could have done this in blue. So another thread change, just because, me thinking. But silver, wouldn't that look cute? I'm gonna do it in the same background blue that we did. So are there any questions or any anything I need to know, Don? I haven't really been able to look at the chat yet much. No. So we're doing the outside, which is awesome. Stitch away. There you go. This mug rug is turning out so cute. Great fabric color choices, Sue. Well, thank you. I just wanted to keep it subtle because I, I really liked Misha's uh, Meep Sleep Sheep. I thought that was cute. Meep Sleep Sheep? That's yeah. She did like, it was like light and airy and all like pastel colors. And it looks like, um, a lot of people pointed out, it looks like counting sheep. You know? So it's a sleep sheep. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I 
I've missed my OML peeps. Hi, Judy Quilt. Hi, Judy Quilt. These are the bad kid designs. Oh. All right. <laughs> yep. I like that. Who designed those, Karina? Karina's a how did I know it was Karina? Yes, and you can make that your um, profile picture, I guess, here, so we can see it in the little circle. That's what you can do when you're on a timeout. Change it. I think that would be fun. Hehe. <laughs> I've posted them in the group before. Oh, cool. Any problems with the new machine? I'm picking up mine on Tuesday. I'm going to say... Zip zero zilch problems, except, and I don't know if it's a problem with the machine or if it's a problem with our internet, but I cannot. Probably our network. Yeah, <laughs> we, we have a very complicated <laughs> network. We, we overrun our network. Uh, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. we have a lot of things going on. Um, but I can't connect wirelessly, but I have not. It used to, and then it stopped, and we didn't make any big network changes. But we're going to find out what the problem is. Oh, I guess you didn't change cameras for that no, one. So we're going to figure that out. But the, other than that, um... No issues at all in any way whatsoever. It's a wonderful machine. Uh, thoroughly enjoy it. Well, there wasn't supposed to be a trim there. Hey. Says, I missed my OML peeps. <laughs> yes. Peep, peep. Yeah, we have fun. There wasn't supposed to be a trim there, so apologies. It was supposed to just go all in one. Although maybe I did leave a trim so you could change colors. I don't know. Not supposed to. Um, yeah, congrats on getting your machine. I hope it does come on Tuesday. I had to wait forever for mine, and it was torture, I tell you, torture. Uh, yeah. So, um, in announcements, I was super busy today rearranging the office. Um, I moved my computer so it's closer to the luminaire which for most people that's just hey move your computer uh it took me all day to do it to run the wiring again and everything so um last night as i was doing my nails i realized oh i didn't edit the video for sunday so change of pace we're still gonna do sunday we're going to do one of the new fringe designs, so it's last minute. So even if you don't have the design, the technique is awful cool. And we're going to stitch out one of those live. So go back, going back to live for tomorrow. Same time, same place, right? Four o'clock tomorrow on the channel. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. Look at my sheep. He's such a cute sheep. I like him. I like him. So, yeah, that's the plan. I will get it all set up um, after this. I usually take a little bit of a break. Um, and then I will get that set up so you guys will have the link to get into it. So... Uh, we will need a video of your new quilting embroidery room, Sue. Well, it's the same, but I moved my computer from one desk to another. But yes, if you would like, the monitors that I have set up are really, really cool the way I have it. I have one full screen that, um... You can do all the chat on. It's just really cool. Yes, so a new video. I also have the unboxing video for the the Luminaire um, that I haven't even looked at, so I got to get on that too. So I will get on that. So there'll be videos popping up here and there. Wednesdays is the podcast day, so if you haven't listened to a podcast yet, you should. I was talking about the origins of crazy quilting. 
and it was fun. Okay, so now is it's just a circle, just a plain circle, and that's our hint. We're gonna put our fabric face down, which I'm not really sure there is an up and down that looks like it. Can, can I post a picture in the group of Livestream Command Center? Yes. All right. Don really likes my setup. I just, I just took a good picture of it. So Facebook, Facebook, really? Yep. Fabric face down, and we're going to stitch down and then do a quick trim. And then we're going to do the finishing stitches, which I'm sure I'm going to do in blue to make that blue kind of come together. Watch out, Bjorn. Don't get in the way, Bjorn. Stitch down twice, so make sure your fabric is face down, and I just slip it underneath. The bed here is big enough that it holds it up. I don't use tape or spray unless I absolutely have to, so yeah. Okay, so got to do a quick trim of that. Maybe you can go to the wide shot, Don, and I can just do it right here. Wides up. Can you see that okay? Yeah. Just just for this. I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna. So is everyone excited about a live tomorrow? A live fringe. Fringe. Just posted a command center pick in the group. <laughs> oh, they're gonna pee their pants when they see that. Oh, I knocked down Bjorn. As long as the hounds doesn't don't get him. Poor oh. Bjorn, did you make him fly off the back? Yeah, I did with my who. These are the many reasons why I don't actually like doing this. But anyways, and here comes a hound. Speak of the devil. We don't have hound sitters right now, so so yeah. It's because you're talking about. Them. My bad, yes. Blame me for it all, Don. <laughs> Thank you very much. As you're showing off my desk that you love so much. <laughs> you got me thinking about switching mine. Oh, copying. Come on. <laughs> I do like my command center, but live stream command is kind of cool. Live stream command. So you could post the picture here. If you could get it on to your... If you posted it in the group, you can download it on mine. True. Yeah. So I'm just changing to blue. That's what all this is here. And Don didn't change the cameras at all. So that's awesome. You get to see my hands in the way. Thanks, Don. Well, you, you mentioned something, so I was working on it. Okay. Sorry. So we're going to have some zigzag stitches. Oh, wait supposed to change the bobbin to match let me see about that hold on I bought a cheater bin I do have it all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop the machine and we're gonna do a trim and I bought a cheater box of bobbins so this is what I call a cheater box so if you forget to wind your bobbins, like somebody always does, they're pre-wound. So let's make this one a pretty one. I do like to try to do things correctly sometimes. So we're going to take out the bobbin, which is hard to do with my nails. Now they said they were the right size. It looks like they are. I'm going to put in this blue one as soon as I find the thread. Where's the thread? Hello, thread. All right. So bob and change before you do much of the back. Now, I'm not sure how well this is going to work. It's probably better to wind your own. But hey, you guys know me. That's not going to happen. I have command center. Okay, let me get the stitching. You can change to the close-up view. 
So see how the luminaire likes this. So yes, before you start stitching this, change your bobbin to match. Nice zigzag stitches, you see? It's gonna hold everything down where I didn't cut very well. Can you zoom in, Don? Cause I'm pointing out stuff. Just do okay. Oh, no, I'm already on the other side. Oh, okay. Like It holds everything down, and if you were going to have some fluffies, then there's no, 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 no with the zigzag stitches. And the final stitch, which is going to look good now, back and front, is a fancy satin stitch. So, okay, Dawn, go ahead and put up the command center picture. Dawn wants to show... Oh, I don't see it yet. Oh, you <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ooh, bob and change. I know. I know. I know. I'm trying to do better. That is what my desk looks like right now. That's it. What do you guys think? That's a good picture, Don. Missing the Cintiq on the left, but that's okay. So that's my new workstation. I got a lot more room, and it's just kind of cool. So hopefully you guys like that. That's awesome. Nice. Everyone says nice. And our baby blue is stitching out. Yeah, I did buy the cheater things, so hopefully... I can be better at remembering to change the bobbin when we're supposed to. Nice so, you got. Yeah, I just thought it has a little bit of everything and it doesn't have to match exactly. Close enough is close enough. And I think the machine likes it well enough. See, I'm trying to be better, guys. I'm trying. I just saw the picture of the sheep, <laughs> the meep sheep rug, sheep meep sheep mug rug. There we go. So, anyways, I get A for effort for changing the bobbin because I absolutely never do that. Um, is there a really big difference between the Stellaire Dream Machine and the Luminaire to make it worth the price? I've been on. I had to, had to change my computer act, Xbox acting up as usual. I, what would you say, Don? Is there a big m difference? I don't know anything about the other one, but uh, between McDreamy and this? Tech-wise, yeah. I mean, if you're going to use all of the lining, if you do a lot of multi-for things, like you're trying to line up things on certain garments and that, it definitely is worth the money. I'm yeah, there's a, if you do a lot of lining up on stuff the projector and the cameras are better the motor sounds completely different it does a lot more things it's like the ultimate in bells and whistles it's much quieter yeah the machine itself is much quieter what mic is that hubby is looking for a good one for streaming um what are they called Oh, Yeti. Yeti. It's called a Yeti. It's called a Yeti. That's a setup. Yes, that's what it takes to do excellent videos. I mean, you can use your iPhone and stuff, but you know. You know, if you get the Cintiq, I could use the fourth monitor for this command center. <laughs> it would be handy. I guess, I'm yeah. Bob and change reward. Thank you, Beth. I got rewarded for changing the bob in. I'm not putting them up on titles. It's not working right. For some oh. So thank you. Thank you. Don says they're not work. The titles aren't working right. Not, not the, uh, not the grabbing comments. Right. At least the cameras are working. But yeah. thank you very much. All donations get rolled back into the channel and we save it up and we buy much better cameras like we we did this 
this camera makes all the difference and I love it. So Big Brother is watching you. It's entirely possible. Fortunately, all the cameras are facing away from where I work. <laughs> now this is taking a long, you know, a bit longer to stitch out, but it has a pattern in it and I'm really having a lot of fun with it and I want to see if there's a way where I can create my own pattern inside the satin stitches and I bet you there is yeah it to me it just adds to it I'm I'm loving it and it's nice and sturdy are the cheater bobbins embroidery thread too and where did you get them i just got them off of amazon um it didn't feel like embroidery thread but i don't know the bobbin thread normally feels kind of like lighter and that's what it felt like so yeah I really enjoy your stitch outs. You and Don do a wonderful job helping us learn how it's done. Well, thank you, Carol. We appreciate it. This is what we do. This is what I do. Don does other things, but this is what I do. And we're having a lot of fun doing it. Now I feel better because we have better cameras and the view right now isn't the greatest. It's, you could zoom in, Don, or are you zoomed in? Probably, probably it could. It just doesn't look as clear as when I use it all. Oh. Just while it's at the bottom of the design. That's fine. More thread on pre-wound bobbins. Yes, that much is true. I know. But it's also nicer. It only takes a second to wind it. Wind it. There you go. Now they can see what I'm talking about. That's a pretty good shot, Don. Um, more thread on pre -wound? Yes. Yes. Bobbin thread is 60 weight. Yeah, it's different. You can use whatever you're using. This was only... I think it was only like 15 or 20 Canadian for the whole... The whole cheater box. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's why I thought, oh, what the heck. And it says, you gotta remember that this machine and the dream machine they use a different size so you got to make sure all the time yeah i used pre pre-wound bobbins all the time these these ones are pre-wound just the as winding the bobbin is so easy why do you guys resist <laughs> i i don't know <laughs> i don't i don't know i guess I don't want to wind a bobbin during live. That's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. I could wind it, you know, in advance, but you know, Amy, I forget. What OML stands for. Well, yeah, that's fine. I used to keep it a secret, but I had three wiener dogs at the same time and i love my weenies and their names were oscar maya and lena and if you say it out loud to yourself it really sounds like the oscar meyer wiener song so oscar maya because it was a girl lena lena was hard to come up with but yeah that's what oml is my babies, I started off doing wiener dog stuff, so we just kept it because it's original and cute. And unfortunately, Oscar, Maya, and Lena have, they're at the Rainbow Bridge running wild and happy, so I've, I found that very difficult because they all passed away, so it's kind of hard, so. We want to get, uh, we rescued two hounds, but we want to get uh, two wieners, like um, babies, two babies together. It'd be cute. So, yeah. That's the story of OML, and that's why the logo is uh, a cute wiener dog. His name is um, Cheeky. Cheeky? Yeah. One of them's cheeky because he has kind of like a sassy look on his face. The one looking behind and there's another one. The side view of him. It's cute.
cute. It's cute. That's creative. What? My Stella shows the difference and I just like them. Apparently pre-wound are wound more evenly and has more on it. Um, I don't know about the wound more evenly. I've certainly come across a few that aren't. Um, I'm just lazy. Okay, so I am so glad I picked the blue on the outside. Oh, I love this. This is my new favorite thing. So, um, awesome. The sheep is too cute, but thank you. But thank you. How about Lena for your luminaire? Hmm. Makes me think of my, my Lena. When did, how long ago did Lena pass away? Four years? No, it would be six years this summer. Good lord. Yeah, it's been a while. My names. She was a foodie. I had, uh, Oscar was a boy, obviously. Maya and Lena were um, a little bit bigger dash hounds. They were classified as that. One was black and tan and one was red. And they were both foodies. So I called them the fat chicks affect affectionately. And they were just, they were just foodies. They just loved their food. They're cute. They weren't that, yeah, they weren't that fat though. I'm just saying a fat wiener is not cool. Now we have Odie and Odie is a wire haired weenie. So yeah, I was told when you wind bobbins, do it at a s slower speed. I guess nobody's told me anything about bobbins, but I'm going to do it at the top speed. Just see how fast it can go. <laughs> how about Harley for your luminaire? Yeah, I have one. Yeah. Harley, badass sewing machine. <laughs> yeah, we haven't, for some reason, my brain isn't just thinking that way. I probably require more sugar or more thought to it, but nothing has caught my attention. Um... The Luminaire is what it's getting. Lumi just doesn't flow off the tongue. Lumos, uh, I kind of like it. Joan of Art is pretty cool. Um, King Arthur is another one. I also thought of Merlin because it is kind of a magical machine, right? So yeah. Yeah. Mickey. After I put it on. How about Captain Lum? Short for Captain Luminaire since it does a lot more than McDreamy. Yeah, this guy's large and in charge, isn't he? That's a good idea. Like Blackbeard. Ooh. Captain Jack. He's not wobbly, though. Captain Jack? Captain Jack Sparrow? I don't want to hit... I have to be careful. The copyright stuff. Call it the beast. Beast mode on! <laughs> That's a possibility. It someone is, said... Beast someone said Colossus. <laughs> big and strong. And I kind of like that. But Colossus is hard to get your mind around, too. Colossus. Something that means big. Big and beautiful. <laughs> Lady Luma. Sir Lumi. Yes, those are all great. Chairman for Chairman of the Book. You guys are awesome. Okay, I am super... I had to pause for the music. I am super happy the way this guy turned out. It's, I'm, I'm glad I did the blue on it. So let's go to the desk. Desktop. And you can see my cheater bobbins. Well, I'm going to put that blue right back. No bobbin graveyards. And ta-da! Look at the back. Nice. On the back, the design on it is just as pretty as the front. 
So we got a, I like this size. This was the six by six size and I'm going to trim. I'll just do it with you guys. I'll just trim this down and then I'm going to go soak it in water completely soak it in water because there's still WSS on the inside and you need to get rid of that and otherwise it'll get all sticky and gooky and you don't want that so what do you think Don I like it I love the blue and okay I'll give in a little bit I that, love the pattern satin too yeah yeah I'm gonna get working on that that's gonna be my new thing I think it's beautiful Everything's all tucked in there, looking great. I love it. So, stitch yourself out a meep sheep. And, meep sheep. yeah, it's really cute. It's really easy. Remember, you can do it all in different ways and make it your own. And um, it was a lot of fun to stitch. Now, that didn't take very long at all, did it? No, it was quick. It's a quick stitch. I mean, I explain a lot, but... Um, and this size is perfect for for a charm square so if you're making a set of it you know you could plunk a charm square on there it was perfect so i can't wait to see what you guys stitch um i i think you guys will have a lot of fun with this and remember there will be a quilt square mug rug in a cat in a dog in an elephant, in a lion. I think that was it. So it'll be a nice grouping. Um, so, yeah, it'll be fun. It's just, and this isn't the block of the month. This is just blocks for fun. So maybe I'll make it a package for you guys. I try to make everything completely reasonable. So keep buying designs that you love. And we can keep those nasty commercials off the channel. We still need the channel to grow. I still want to um, hit my goal just for fun. What kind of stabilizer it is? WSS, water, water soluble stabilizer. And that's how you get rid of it. And it looks good. Sloth, that was it. Thank you, Chris Yost. Um, so thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys will stitch out your own meep sheep with your own style on it and enjoy it. So that was that that's Odie, our old man. Sorry about that. That's awesome. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye everyone. Lynn's probably laughing.